Good evening everybody, Charlie here with Red Summit RF. Recently I created a video on the K6 ARK 3D printed Morse code paddle. After that video premiered, a viewer left a comment that I would like to read to you. The, the viewer's name is Davey, a KU9L. As a full-time RVer, I do not have access to a 3D printer. But this would be great for some of the QRP clubs out there selling kits to offer to their customers for a license fee to add them. I would buy several for my soda pota packs, even perhaps as a backup paddle for the pack if your primary paddle loses a part. Thanks for reviewing and now I just have to dream about it. Cheers, Davey, KU9L, Dave. This comment got me thinking about all those people who don't have access to a 3D printer, but who might want one of these paddles. At a recent ham radio lunch gathering, I was talking about this with one of my friends, Jeff, N7CCW, and he mentioned that uh, I ought to reach out to a friend of his, an acquaintance of mine, Dave, a K7MAD, who owns a 3D printer. Dave agreed to print a batch of these Morse code paddles, and in the end, he actually assembled a kit of a batch of 10. Uh, I went ahead and paid him for this batch and then uh, pulled out one of these paddles for myself and also one for Davey. And so I now have eight remaining kits unassembled that I'd like to give away to my viewers. The kits come with all of the materials listed on Adam, K6ARK's uh, bill of materials. There are two exceptions to this kit. And the first is, is that uh, Dave found that it was a little bit difficult to use these uh, whisker hair wires that uh, Adam had suggested that we use in his bill of materials. And so he purchased a little bit bigger wires. Now I know that uh, Adam had a good reason for that and it was probably just to, to make the paddles perform better. So uh, if you end up uh, with one of these kits, uh, make sure that you determine whether or not you want to use the, the wire that was provided, uh, which is a little bit bigger wire, or go ahead and, and maybe acquire uh, uh, that more light or, or that thinner uh, gauge wire that Adam uh, suggests that you use with the paddle. The other thing is, is that Dave uh, printed up a remix of this K6 ARK paddle to include uh, sides or side panels on this paddle, so it's not open like the, uh, like the original is. And I thought that was a pretty nice uh, upgrade. Um, you may want to add them or you may not, but uh, if you end up with this uh, kit, then it's up to you to decide what you do. So join me on my live stream on Thursday, March 2nd at 5.30 p.m. That'll be 0030 UTC time for your chance to win one of these Morse code paddle kits. The full details of the rules for this giveaway are in the description below in this video. But in essence, you need to subscribe to my channel and then be present in my live stream and drop me a comment in order to be eligible to win. So thank you so much for supporting my channel. I look forward to talking to all of you in my uh, live stream in the chat coming up in a couple of days. See you then.